The RuneScape Wiki dropped a business update providing insight into the financials of the RuneScape Wiki and I reckon you'd find it as interesting as I did, so let's talk about it. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. The RuneScape Wiki has been the domain to find information for many players since its migration from Wikia back in October of 2018. Since then, the Wiki has become an even greater success than the team running it has imagined. This has caused the Wiki to become increasingly more expensive and require more hours from technical staff. Despite the staff running the Wiki being incredibly passionate, at some point there needs to be compensation for labor, otherwise it just isn't realistic to keep putting in the same amount of work. It's worth noting that Jagex did pay a monthly fee to cover the infrastructure costs and a very small amount of compensation for the system admins at the time. The wiki team came to the conclusion that running ads was the only reasonable way of increasing revenue to keep the wiki up and running properly, so limiting any downtime in addition to feature development and improvements. I mean, how else can you ask someone to dedicate their time to a wiki if it goes down if they aren't on payroll? So in January 2023, they went to the socials to explain their financial problems with a forum post called Funding the Wikis. Soon after, the wiki launched a Patreon page that still exists today and has been running ads since February the 11th, 2023 for the use of Nitro Pay and more recently, through Playwire. The RuneScape Wiki, so all four of them have been generating an average combined total of 1,000 US dollars in ad revenue per day since it started using Playwire. The business update shares the monthly totals in ad revenue for May, June, and July, with August expected to generate up to 40,000 US dollars. This might sound like a lot of money, but if you consider that the RuneScape Wikis get a combined total of 4 million views per day, it really isn't. The amount of ad revenue the RuneScape Wiki gains could have been significantly higher if the RuneScape Wiki didn't exclude the European Union and the UK, mobile devices, and logged in users from ads. So only a portion of those 4 million views mostly the US and Australians, are getting ads on the RuneScape Wiki. Other than ad revenue, the RuneScape Wiki's Patreon generates around $1,900 per month, split between around 370 Patreon. Much like the ad revenue, this source of income is stable and doesn't change much month by month. Jagex still seems to have a hand in supporting the RuneScape Wiki financially, albeit an insignificant amount compared to the sum of monthly ad revenue. So with at least 32k coming in every single month thus far, how much is going out. Currently, the RuneScape Wiki employs two full-time system admins that have been part of the wiki for a long time. This doesn't mean they are the only members of the RuneScape Wiki team putting in work, but they are the only two members that are paid full-time. The total cost of employment for each employee is about 72k USD per year, or around 6k per month. I'm not sure what their annual take-home salary is, but depending on their location, that could be more than reasonable compensation, or below average. The RuneScape Wiki infrastructure costs about 24,000 per year, legal expenses are set to 2,000 per year, and accounting and payroll costs are about 4,000 per year. According to the mid-2023 update, the RuneScape Wiki has its ad revenue paid out 60 days after the invoice period, meaning they might have had a rough start the first two months until the cash was flowing in month by month. Jagex assisted in making it a little easier for both the Wiki and themselves by prepaying all invoices for the year. Note that this does include things like the infrastructure, but doesn't include those system admin salaries. The only thing Jagex is paying for are the things they were already providing financial support for, like the servers. The salaries of the system admins are being paid for by the ad revenue. Currently, the RuneScape Wiki has 49k cash in the bank and has a monthly surplus of over $20,000, meaning that the Wiki is incredibly profitable. So that raises the question, what is the Wiki going to do with such a profitable setup? Will they continue to operate on a chunky profit margin or not? When the post, one admin called Cook mentions it being hard to justify running an operation where ads are providing excessive revenue compared to expenses. Things they are looking to do with a surplus of monthly income includes saving up for a 6 to 12 month emergency fund, possibly with the use of investments, hiring one to two more people to assist in administration and other technical tasks that Cook has been doing voluntarily, funding wiki related projects such as meetups like the one they've done for necromancy, which I wonder if they also got to visit Jagex like I did back in May. And of course, bridging the gap between revenue and expenses by reducing ads is another option, but this may not be a good idea 
as RPMs, known as revenue per mil, so the money you make per 1,000 views or impressions, can fluctuate heavily based on what advertisers are willing to bid and pay. I personally notice this in my own earnings every month, and the amount of money I make per 1,000 views can change heavily every year. Considering the ads aren't too disruptive at this point, I don't see why they should try to reduce them even more personally. Instead, I believe hiring more people to formally be part of the RuneScape Wiki team is the better move to continue improving and keeping the wiki on top as one of the best, if not the best wiki any game has access to. Before ending of the video, I just have to say that I appreciate the amount of transparency in these posts. It provides insights into a vital operation that many players, including myself, use on a daily basis. The technical staff are the real unsung heroes here, so big props to Cook, Jaden, and Kitty. I'd also like to thank Srylius for linking me this post as I would have probably missed it otherwise. And if you're interested, I'll be leaving sources to some bits or things shown in this video down in the description below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.